Measures to discourage migrant arrivals to Europe over the past few years have often seemed controversial. In Denmark in particular, they've tried to pull up the drawbridge. They've confiscated valuables from arriving refugees, created a three-year wait until relatives can join, and at one point separated young married refugees. Measures prompted by the 2015 refugee crisis, when more than a million entered Europe via Greece and Italy, with many seeking asylum further north, including in Denmark. Inga Stoiber was immigration minister at the time. Over the past two years, she has been investigated over the legality of her 2016 decision to separate 23 married refugees under 18 years old from their spouses. She said it was to combat child marriages but her separation policy led some migrants to reportedly feel suicidal, living apart for months. Last week, she was convicted in an impeachment court and sentenced to 60 days detention for failing to adhere to Danish and human rights laws that each case must be assessed individually. Fellow parliamentarians decided on Monday that enough was enough. It is incompatible with the office as a member of parliament to have received an unconditional prison sentence. A majority voted to remove the independent MP, but she remains defiant. I actually believe that one has a moral obligation to protect child brides when they come here. Once I've served my sentence, I can return. It could also be here. Some commentators believe Monday's verdict may galvanize her supporters on the right wing of politics. But this rare case also underlines the consequences for ministers who do not comply with the law. Sylvia Lennon-Spence, BBC News.